Lanius, I mourn Edward, my old friend. I told him his thoughts would get the better of him one day. I remember even calling them cancerous before he became Kaiser. These memories help me understand how right I once was. When we were simple missionaries concerned only with Jehovah's ministry, we were brothers. When we chose iniquity over salvation, created your own nation, we considered each other brothers. And now we will only be reunited in death should the good Lord remember our names without crossing them out. Legionnaires, Kaiser is dead. We know this. He failed to kill me, failed to enact his will upon me, and failed to defeat the bear. So where does his death leave you now? For me, I am secure with the people who trust my rule. We are secure due to the tribes we've defeated, the same ones who put their hope not in an idea, but in a now-dead man. Edward may have told you of Rome, but did he teach you about Alexander and what happened to his empire upon death? Lanius, you sit at a precipice. Do you trust me and rise like the Seleucids and Ptolemaics, or do you ignore me and go the way of the Bactrians? Unlike Edward, I have relearned how to teach, encourage, and even promote peace while still maintaining arms. I have stood over my enemy, stripped them of everyone and everything, and as they laid crouched within the blood of their tribe, I granted them mercy. The mercy to live without power or strength, to be humbled, to understand the words of Hosea 6.6. .6. No, this is a mercy, despite what you have been taught. I doubt you would call it as such, I doubt even more you were educated, like Edward was, in what true morals are. I'm not insulting you. I also forgot such petty things, when there was an empire to build, slaves to be ordered, and conscripts to be trained. What you we call the Legion was originally established with the same ideals and morals you currently find repulsive. We once found your ways repulsive as well. Then we gave in. Then we let out every sin the old world had taught us to avoid. And then the Legion was truly born. So I offer you an idea. Compare what I have written here to what your Kaiser wrote in his personal thoughts. Read the books he read. Consider why he chose the throne he called his own. Consider why a Kaiser, so enamored with power, would refuse to name an heir before his death. So then, consult history and understand the collapse that is soon to come. From this, further understand why you should consider my words. Then consider my offer.